Good morning. So I've come over today. It's Sunday morning. I think it's about 8.30 a.m. And I've come over because the sun is already intense. It's 24 degrees in the greenhouse already. I've brought my shade cloth over. So if you haven't got one, go and get something to cover that greenhouse. Because it's going to be an absolute blaze of the day. So I've been over all week and I'll show you all that through the clip anyway but to, for this moment now I need to get that shade cloth on before the sun comes out and I need to water everything. Let's go. So as you can see, you know, they're not enjoying the heat and by adding this shade cloth, at least now they'll keep a bit cooler for the next couple of days. So an update on the melon challenge. So I've got some form of life. This one was also planted. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it is a melon, but this one is very much a melon plant and we've got flowers and I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'll have at least one little melon on you to at least have something for their challenge. So I know I've been saying that I'm going to do a refit of the solar panel on the shed and that will happen. However, I was pulling it off because of the heat and then also another twist of the fate of the plot is that I've decided that I'm going to sell my little shed. I know, but I love, I love it. But I'm just not using both sheds. I'm just moving from one to the other. I just think if I just focus on one little shed, it'll give me a lot more space, you know, in this area to be growing, putting another two beds in because you know what it's like. You think you've got enough space and then you run out and I've run out. So the sheds go in sometime through the um, end of summer and yeah, I'll be putting some more raised beds in there. So next year, more growing space. So there will be a solar panel obviously video coming up because I'm going to have to put the solar panels on the chicken coop because there's a bigger surface area on the roof and it gets a lot more sun to be honest so I'll be fitting those on in the next week or so and I'll put a video out on how I wired it all through and I just think it'll be a better video because I've already got it set up in the shed so I would have to be taking it all apart just to show you all guys how I did it. So that will be coming up. Um, I'm excited about that because it means that I've got more area on the roof to put two big panels on this so I'll have a massive amount of energy stored now for the next month or two so that'll, that'll take me through winter as well for lights and keeping everything going. So what's gone on this week? So we've done so much, like I've been over here all week, you know, harvesting and weeding and planting. And we had a skip delivered for some of the old plots on the bottom that are not being used. And me, Mark and Nigel, we came over and we, <laughs> what's the odds? We pulled up some of the rubbish that was down there to put the skip and we found a wasp nest. So Mark had to come out with his bee suit on, oh, it was a nightmare. But we got through it and, you know, it wasn't as bad as I'm making out, but it was, you know, it was an eventful thing. And then, you know, it was just nice just to spend some time just to, to helping someone else's plot out, clean it off, ready for the next people to come on. And then I grabbed three old jam jars in the shed and I had some, flea, you know, some fruity cider and out my cool box. And we all just enjoyed a nice glass of cold cider at the end. And it was just nice just to spend some time with some of the allotment men. So yeah, right. I need to show you some things because there's flowers growing everywhere. There's fruit, there's chilies, there's tomatoes. Let's show you what's going on. Look at these beautiful flowers. Like I absolutely love them. And then we've also got down here some more flowers the straw flowers are just still coming on there's another one here and then look look 
let me show you what's going on. So the Lata, look at this. It is full of tomatoes and flowers. And we've even got some tomatoes here to harvest today. And also, da da da, some chilies. So I'm really excited and loads and loads of flowers. And we also got some Aji mangoes coming here. So these two, sadly, they still haven't come to nothing. This was a long red Maconi, and for some reason I always struggle with these. And this was the Habanero. So maybe something will happen. I dotted some basil in between. And my best ones so far are these ones. The ones that I mentioned that I saved the peppers from Tesco's. And look what's happened. An abundance of peppers ready to harvest soon but yeah this tunnel has become a success the house tomatoes they're all on you now they're all going crazy I really should stake these up now so yeah jobs 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 so nothing's perfect in your allotment or your garden as you know you can show all the nice flowers and the pretty pictures and stuff but there'll always be that area where you think I can do better I will do better Look at my beetroot area. So it's gone to seed. So I've not it's harvested gone to them. seed. You know, I've not harvested decent, them. You know, beetroot some decent in here. Beetroot but there's in also here. some stingy nettles. But there's also some, some trees growing. And some little so, trees growing. And so, some spring onions that went over. And some spring onions so that I'm went over. So I'm going to clear this bed out. So I'm going to need to clear this bed out. Decide what I'm going to put in your next. Decide what I'm going to put. I also cleared out the shallots and the sugar snap peas so it gives a bit more space in here now and I've got, still got some lettuces in here I think these are the little gems these are little gem lettuces yeah things are ticking on now but I need to concentrate some time on weeding some of the beds and sorting some out because I'm finding some little nettles coming and stuff and you don't want those to bear root and get in there but yeah and the same on you I've got some little gem lettuces in, but I'm also finding some weeds and also a little bit of bind weed here. Not good. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, can everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Let me come and show you this absolutely beautiful sunflower. It's called Autumn Beauty. I sowed a few of them and one has already come to flower and for some reason my sunflowers are not looking at me this year. They're all facing away but I know they do turn with the sun but let me show you what it looks like now. It's absolutely beautiful. How beautiful is this? This beautiful Autumn Beauty. So I'll definitely be sowing these next year. And I can already hear Jane Kelly saying, send me some of these seeds, because she does like the sunflowers. So if you haven't already, go and take a look at Jane Kelly's allotment channel. She is absolutely hilarious, and it's beautiful as well. So go take a look over to her channel. I'll put a link in the description. Right, let's get a job done. Look at this audience of Italian whites as you enter the plot. It's beautiful the fact that they all just sit there all in different directions. And I know they're all pointing at the sun right now, but there's loads more still to come. So this should be a massive audience of sunflowers. So it's just nice to just dot those flowers in between all your plots and a nice contrast with the green behind. So it was finally that time the other day, I came over and all the onions had all dropped over and that you know that that's the time then. If all those stems are all becoming weak and you know they're completely collapsed then just harvest them all and as you can see the onions now are all stored on this bit of mesh which is handy because you just push them through the holes and yeah they'll dry up your lovely now. 
one thing I loved the other day, another like, you know, those little moments on your plot that you just think, would that happen again? I was, I got onto the ground and I decided to weed all that bed after I harvested all the onions. And this little robin that's been on my plot for ages, um, she flew down, she was right underneath the plot, you know, on the bed, and she was about a foot from me, and she was, you know, I was weeding around, and she was collecting wounds. And it was just those little special moments that you have in your garden or your allotment that you just think, you know, that's a memorable thing and yeah it's just lovely to see that you've you've grown this area that wildlife are wanting to to live in so it's that time of year you know end of july and you know any plants you've got just put them in as i always say sink or swim chuck it in and that's what i'm going to do today i've been given this aubergine plant and yeah, I'm just going to pop it in the bed outside. Not the ideal day to be putting out because it's going to get warm today, but I'm going to plant it in, give it a good watering, cover it over with a bit of shade. And like I said, you know, you've got nothing to lose. I've got this extra space in this bed that I have the onions in, so I'll just pop it in there. And if, if one aubergine comes from it, it's better than nothing. An example of just chuck it in and hope for the best, you know, I had a side shoot of my Tigerella about a month ago, and this is what I did. So I just popped it in this bed, stuck it in the ground, and look, in between some lobelia and a lettuce, I got some Tigerella tomatoes. I mean, they, I'll have them for nothing, you know? So what's the point? Is, you know, if you've got a bit of space, just pop something in, a side sheet, shoot or an extra plant, and hope for the best. So I'm just going to pop it in here. The soil is quite wet under here as well, which is quite good. I'll pop it in, give it a good water, and I'm sure it'll be fine. So now this is in, in a couple of days time when it gets a bit cooler, I'll put some winter cabbages in. I've got a few spare and that's where they'll go here, but I'm not risking them today because I definitely want them for winter. I'm happy to risk this because I've already gone in the greenhouse, but I'm not risking my cabbages. So Mark's just popped over. He's given me a jar of fresh honey from the plot. So how local can you get two plots down? He had 70 jars from the hives this year. So yeah, I'll enjoy that. Maybe even keep it for Christmas for some parsnips. Another little tip as well is to ensure that these, if you've got these auto vents for your greenhouse, ensure that they're up to the last thread today so that you give that maximum amount of vents and airflow in your greenhouse. And Nigel just popped up a crystal lemon cucumber. So I gave him this plant and twist of fate is mine rotted a few months ago. And it's just one of those things, but luckily, his came to fruition and he's given one. So they just taste the cucumber, but they look like little mini lemons. So let's have a go with that tonight with a bit of salad. And that's what it's all about. It's about sharing. Like I gave Nigel an aubergine plant today and he gave me a crystal lemon back. So, and the same, you know, Mark gave me the honey and I gave him some beetroot because he had a fail crop of that. It's just, that's what it's all about. You know, it's just sharing and it's just a nice community to have. So I've given the beds all a good watering, I've given the chickens extra water, I've shaded the greenhouse, I've put the auto vents open, I've opened up the polytunnel. I think I've done everything I can do for this intense heat that we've, come, we've got coming in the next couple of days. So just stay safe guys and make sure all your plants are protected. So I'll see you all again soon, so take care.